diffuse hair loss. The hair loss typically affects the entire scalp, resulting in general thinning rather than bald patches. The common causes or triggers. We'll start with physical stress. Surgery, severe illness like a high fever, major injury or giving birth. Emotional stress. A traumatic event or significant life stressor can also trigger telogen effluvium. Hormonal changes. So pregnancy, the menopause or changes related to birth control and other hormonal treatments can also cause this effect. Metabolic or nutritional changes. So a significant weight loss, restrictive dieting or deficiencies such as iron deficiency can also cause this. Certain prescriptions, including some antidepressants, can also trigger hair loss. Some medical conditions are included as well, like thyroid problems, hypothyroidism or hyperthyroidism can also be a factor. And these are an overreactive thyroid or an underreactive thyroid. Key characteristics. It can be temporary. In most situations, the ailment resolves once the underlying trigger is removed or the body recovers. Not hereditary, so it's not passed through the genes. Telogen effluvium is not an inherited condition. A diffused pattern, so the hair loss is seen all over the scalp and not in a specific area. Delayed onset, so it will take a while to show itself. The visible hair loss may become apparent several months after the triggering event. Does Azempic give you energy? So you'll be seeing metabolic adjustments. When starting a Zempic, your body undergoes several metabolic adjustments. These changes, including the improved regulation of blood sugar levels, may temporarily impact your energy levels, causing fatigue. Can I take a Zempic without seeing a GP? You'll need to meet with a licensed clinician who can assess your weight, health history and potential risk factors such as insulin resistance or pre-diabetes. Many online clinics make it easier to assess prescriptions by meeting with you virtually.